in nafiq khalaq is samawati wal ard indeed the creation of heavens and the earth waqt ilaf al layli wan nahari and the day of the night and their alternation meaning their change so now allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about the system around us the world around us so i want you guys to pause and think about the things around us that allah subhanahu wa taala has created that we also lose the call we call it nature it's if we don't understand a phenomena we say it's a natural phenomena so we don't understand even in science by the way so in science even we say ah it's a natural it's a natural phenomena we are still uh, trying to understand it better so basically it's there is no natural phenomena unless you know it is created by allah subhanahu wa taala that's our belief so indeed the creation of heavens and the earth the change of the night of the day everything so if you think about it it's all coming together as a system it is all very systematic it's not like the okay the sun was uh, sleeping and you know it won't arise so the sunrise would be delayed by a couple of hours because you know the sun overslept or it did not rise up or or the moon or these things around us right so the balance that we see all around us is perfect and this is the perfect creation of allah subhanahu wa taala the way everything around us happens and before we move forward i want to ask you guys a question the question is um do you guys see my next slide imagine you find a mobile phone in the desert are you guys with me alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so imagine you find a mobile phone in the desert alhamdulillah very good um what will you think about the mobile phone let's say you are walking in a desert one fine day it's not very hot it's sunny and you you just stumble upon something in the desert and you look down and there is a mobile phone lying there now you are looking at this mobile phone what is the thought that will come to your mind about the mobile phone what will you think about the mobile phone tell me whatever thought will come does this belong okay so the first thought thank you ma'am so the first thought will come is uh, who does this belong to i mean this mobile phone is lying there um what else what else will you think about the mobile phone who else will give me the answer you're going to want to keep it you would want to keep it yeah it's a mobile phone for free you know we found it yeah interesting yes ah uh, that's the first thought also that can come now let's think about uh um, yes go ahead uh maybe like if someone is stranded here so maybe he dropped his phone so maybe if i can very valid point by over thank you yes maybe someone is stranded there maybe they dropped it maybe they were passing by it fell out of their pocket what will you guys think about its uh, how it was made so let's say the mobile phone was there what thought will come to you about how was it made will you think that this must have happened on its own so you know what happened is rain came in and there were these minerals on the sand and there was this sunlight that melted the minerals and those became and some of the iron and all of these things they formed the shape of a mobile and then water came in so it was it cooled down and then you know somewhere from different colored rocks came in and there were colors on top of it will you think that all of this automatically happened or and the phone was created automatically by itself by nature or will you think or will you will you think that it must have been manufactured by someone there must be a company who manufactured it what will you think about its creation how was this mobile created tell me company has manufactured it some something has manufactured it right but if you look at the sand you beside think, it yes you will think of what um brand it is yeah you will think about a brand because it must be a mobile phone so you know it must be from a brand it must be from a company um uh, apple samsung motorola okay, yeah. Nokia maybe yeah the phone looks like a Nokia version you are right so you will always think about that they must have they must some some someone would have manufactured it it is created in a factory um and if you look at the sand beside it the desert sand 
will you think about the sand that the sand is also manufactured by a brand or a company or will you just say no it's lying there what do you guys think about the sand it's just lying there it's just lying there yeah so if sand is just like so what is the difference between sand and a mobile phone who will tell me why do we think that sand is just lying there while mobile phone is created by a manufacturer or it is from a brand and you know so who will tell me why do we think why, why do we think differently both of them are lying there sand is also there mobile is also there what's the difference between sand and mobile mobile we have created because we know how to create it and all that stuff yes and right. sand allah has created Sand is a natural um resource, and a phone is a man-made resource. You are right, very right. So both of you are right, Omar and Ahmed. So basically, sand is something that we know that it is just lying there because we have seen deserts. We have seen many deserts, and it lies. The sand is there. It's natural. It's created by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We know it. The mobile phone is something that is that has a system. It has something. It's not just random sand there. It has something. It has buttons, properly created things. It has metal. It has different elements that are coming together. It needs some battery. It needs so it's a proper systemic working thing. It's it's an object that is created, right? So there must be a manufacturer or creator of the mobile phone because otherwise, how come all of these things we will be thinking? No, it cannot automatically happen. There must be a creator because you know some money melted. Someone they they must be having a factory. In that factory, one department is you know creating these metallic plates. Someone is creating buttons and all of this, and then it is all coming together from versus processes. And there is a creation or a factory that is you know by owned by any brand, let's say Samsung, Apple, whosoever. But then at the end, there is a manufacturer and creator because it's a it has a proper system. It has an operating software. i mean software cannot be installed on its own so we will think that there is a creator that is creating this mobile phone which has a proper system right now think about the system around us so there is a perfect system around us this is one of the examples i am showing you guys the clouds formation the rainfall happening the water going down again evaporating into clouds it's not like wherever the water evaporates it forms clouds it becomes heavy and it rains the same place no the clouds move move from one place to another so this the nick that we think sir we can only see the nokia mobile and the company okay oh oh sorry now do you see the new image yes sir now we can see okay thank you for highlighting umar so basically what i was saying is if you look at this system there is clouds rainfall water going down all of this happening this is a proper system there is ground water that goes to the lakes and then the lakes get filled again and then uh, evaporation happen transpiration happen and then the clouds move right so this is also a system this is nature another okay. example yes go ahead um isn't it called um condensation not yeah. um transpiration yes yes it's called also condensation condensation is basically when the water goes up it cools down and it forms droplets right this is what you are mentioning it's the same thing but the point here to understand is what the point here to understand is that even around us things that we think they are natural and there is no explanation there is a system if you look at another example of a system a perfectly created system why am i so why am i showing you this perfectly created system this human body can someone tell me because because allah created our body in a perfect way hands to hands to move around and do stuff and fingers to grab thumbs to hold with the fingers and legs to move brain to think everything like that Excellent. everything has a everything has like what what do you say like a proper function it cannot do anything else exactly this is uh, the perfect answer so if we look around ourselves if you just you don't even need to look outside just look at your body just look at the perfect system inside the body um the veins the vessels and everything else there has to be a creator 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning and talking about the same systems in this ayah. 